Yodels. This is Slightly Bartfast from Pros, and welcome to the fourth episode of the C64 Coding Tutorials YouTube channel. That's the fourth episode in two days, so expect a lot if you're a subscriber and you become a patron. Five dollars a month and you get so much for it. Not only do you get 180, exclusive 180p versions of all these screencasts, so you get a nicer view on your big screen, you get free, you get a exclusive access to a private Bitbucket repository full of source codes that you can use for yourself and then I'll explain um, and have during the series. You get access to a, a private build of C64 Studio um, IDE with over 90 megabytes of tools included and, and you get access to a private Dropbox business link of over 20 gigabytes of Commodore 64 software that you don't have to download yourself. All for five dollars a month. You couldn't get better value than that. Two cups of coffee in your month and you can have all of that basically for free and it would help me out no end. It's not easy doing this and it takes me a lot of time to compile the software and, and assemble it and research it. But that's not why we're here. Uh, you might have just seen that I released a, a silent version of the intro loading screen to the remastered version of the final attack that I just released. Um, it was silent because for some reason whenever I recorded video from Vice the audio would be out of sync so I just recorded over it. But now I'm going to show you with, with the screencast um, the full game and the remastered intro. Kevin Tilly of Reset Magazine earlier this year, or maybe it was late last year, um, unearthed a copy of this rare commercial, commercial shit game that I released in 1988 called The Final Attack. Uh, I, I, it's a lot better than I thought it was at the time because it was very embarrassing for me. My parents called the news and the newspapers and it was all around bad. The cool kids at school that could code knew that I did it with the Shinra construction kit and... Um, it wasn't a good time for me because I, I was trying to learn how to code and about a year later I was starting to produce my own demos. So it was a dark period for me but I got $2,000 in advance sales, paid for a $1,000 phone bill because I didn't like blue boxing and um, bought a $1,000 Amiga off my so-called friend with a RAM expansion for retail price even though it was second hand and he had it for six months. <laughs> but it was still an Amiga and I was cool with that. They were hard to find in my in my rural, rural country town. So um, t two months later, a ECP came back to me. Electronic Computer Products said they wanted the money back because they made hardly any sales. But I was seventeen; they couldn't see me, and there had been no real proper business transactions done. And uh, so I kept the money. They went bust six months to a year later and got bought out by Electronic Arts. Uh, so that turned out well. I was a bit stressed out for a little while. So now, the game has been rediscovered and we've released a remastered version for 2017. Now this is a pure remaster, as in like a digital remaster of a product, as if it was music or a movie. This is the original data from the game, the levels, the attack waves, the sound effects, everything. It's been put through a new engine called the Suke Redux Engine which Martin Piper programmed, you can see an interview with him in my upcoming um, free magazine that I'll be talking about soon. And he, he made a whole new engine for suit data, Shinra Construction Kit data, um, that you can save from the editor f with the game, and then load it into this engine, compile it, assemble it, and you've got a whole new game You've got a game that's been remastered with a better sprite multiplexer, a better scrolling engine, and you can add anything you want to it, like power-ups, um, character animation, parallax backgrounds, multi-load levels, so you can have different graphics and levels, the whole 64's memory worth in each level of the game. For, 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 yeah, you know what I mean. So, it's pretty amazing, really, but it gets a lot of... It gets a lot of flack from the um, Commodore 64 scene who all think Shuke is lame. And I'll show you an example of this. I made the release of the Final Attack 2017 Redux Remastered Edition on CSDB and was informed by one of the moderators very rudely that it would have Shuke written on it in brackets. 
just so everyone could tell it was crap and didn't have to download it. Well, my friends, it's got 92 downloads in, in a day, so I don't think that technique is working. Then, uh, who knows, maybe they think it just has to be categorized as shook, but it's got a whole new engine, it's been remastered. It's not, I wouldn't exactly count it as a shoot game, but whatever. When I, when I release my um, sequel to the final attack, which will have whole new level graphics and multi-load levels, so it won't just have flying over Nazi spaceships, it'll have flying over planets, it'll have flying over uh, planets that are just water, planets that are just ice, planets of the forest. It'll be Star Wars all over again. It's going to be great. But until then, we've got the remastered edition. So let's download it. Oh, my internet's disconnected, so Camtasia doesn't stop working. It doesn't matter. I've downloaded it earlier. Here we go. Now, last time I recorded this, the audio on the emulator drowned me out. So I'm just going to put it on real quiet. I hope you can hear me. Alright, I have the microphone over here and I turn the speakers right off and you'll just be hearing the emulator going over, over my output. Now hopefully this is working. Now you see the intro? Um, the, that's the original intro to the game that's been remastered with music. It's got the original scroll code, the original bitmap graphics, and we, we ripped out the bitmap graphics, we ripped out the scroll code, we regenerated disassembler, and we put it all back together, or Richard did, after I, after I um, disassembled the source. With, with his excellent tune, and we had a remastered version of Final Attack. And all we had to do was run the Final Attack main data through the Redux engine, and we've got a digitally remastered version of a Commodore 64 game. Now, how often does that happen? It's pretty cool, I think. I don't care if it's made with a construction kit, and oh, anyone could do it. Yeah, well, sorry, not every idiot can make spaceships, right? And as far as I'm concerned, it's a talent being able to draw spaceships on the Commodore 64. Now, there's a lot of graphicians I know that can't draw people. Right, but they're well-respected graphicians who make really good-looking logos and and spaceships for, for shit 'em ups. And I'm not just talking about one guy here. I'm talking about at least three graphicians that I know. Uh, we call the scene calls graphic artists graphicians, by the way. So there you go. Now back to the game. Now, the, the, this is the main the thing that suit gets crap for. You can only have a title screen with text and color bars on it. You can't change the color of the color bars, and you can't have music. But when, with a Redux engine, you can put on a new title screen, you can have animated graphics, music, high score charts, the safety disk, and multi load levels. So we'll see what we can do about that in Suke's reputation in 2017 when I run my series on Suke Redux and the 2017 Suke Redux competition that runs from April to June to July. Link in in the description. Now here's the game. Now I'm not very good at shooting ups now. I used to be much better at them. Now Richard Dalis said this game was too easy. No, no, I don't think it's too easy. But he's good at shoot him ups. Uh, and um, he, he got to the fifth level on, on, on the lives that I gave him today in the cheeks. I don't think I'll get to the second level. Now, there's destructible backgrounds in this game. And they're really cool. But if you want to see the destructible backgrounds, it's inspired by Iridium. The destructible backgrounds. And the spaceships are inspired by Iridium. And I used um, Iridium style spaceship tiles to great effect to have giant spaceships with l small amount of use of graphics. But if you want to check it out, go to the link on CSDB, sign up on CSDB with a silly name, the silliest name you can think of, right? And then download the game, this, the Final Attack 2017 Redux Remastered Edition, and then vote for it and leave a nice comment. And we'll see what CSDB thinks about that. Ha! Next time we'll go to Lemon64. Uh, anyway, that's, that's all that I've got to say for this episode. And great news... Uh, I've compiled all the articles that I've been writing for various Commodore 64 magazines and the blog um, recently, and I've made a 35-page magazine called Inc. do 2 the Quarterly Coders magazine. I'll be giving away the first issue for free. It's quite cheap. <laughs> Not the free part. I made it in Word. <laughs> I don't have any design software. 
but it's a PDF, it's about 35 to 40 pages, and it'll be released soon, and we'll do a Kickstarter for Ink to a Coders, Quarterly Coders magazine in January. So look forward to that. $5 a month is all you have to do to support this project. It's more than just releasing videos, I hope you realise, and it, it's going to become even more than that. Okay, it's goodbye from me, and hello to code. Good afternoon.